Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the new Bucky O'Hare line from Boss Fight Studios. This is the second figure in the uh, series, First Mate Jenny. Now this is a, I guess a figure that a lot of people were clamoring for because uh, Jenny never actually got made in the original vintage line. Uh, there were a couple of prototypes made, um, at least in some of the catalogs anyways, but never actually made it to production. She was scheduled for a release in the second wave of the figure line, which never actually happened. So this is the actual first time we actually get a figure of First Mate Jenny. It comes on this very awesome card art. Uh, they've done a really awesome job with uh, kind of making this look as much like that vintage released figures as possible. Uh, very great job here with the uh, the card art. So flipping it over to the back, we can see some of the other figures in the series. Uh, a lot of them marked as coming soon. Uh, that same kind of uh, comic splash, I guess you would say, and then a bio of the actual character itself. So very cool looking, very nice. Um, I guess if you want to, you can uh, pause it here to look at the actual file card. That's cool. Uh, the other thing about uh, Boss Fight Studios releases here is that they've actually made this for collectors in mind. So the packaging is... Uh, Reclosable, resealable, however you want to look at it. So, yeah, cool. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. We don't need an X-Acto knife this time. These uh, little flaps on the side just kind of peel out, and then the card just pops out and slides out like so. Again, very awesome looking artwork here. I like that a lot. Uh, we'll stick this to the side for right now. Again, I'm not that big of a keeping the things in the package here so i'm probably not going to put it back in the resealable thing but it's nice that you have that option uh, we'll just dump this over and shake it a little bit and figure and accessories come out so uh, the plastic case here goes off to the side with the card and there are actually uh, two levels of plastic here and we'll we'll zoom in here in a moment and uh take a look at everything individually here but just to kind of show you all what we got here uh, we've got some alternate hands little bitty tiny things here just go ahead and pop all this stuff out another set of alternate hands whoops I don't want to jump off on us and this cool well two cool sonic blasty things <laughs> very nice looking and then uh, that can go to the side somewhere then we actually get uh, the actual character itself jenny let's get her out of there very cool looking and we have some alternate heads or i guess technically these are alternate faces we got uh, three alternate faces And alternate hand set number three that has the uh, the cool kind of sonic blade thing coming out of them so <laughs> very cool looking anyways and now we'll throw that to the side and we've got all the different faces the figure and the accessories here so uh, let's go ahead and zoom in now bear with me while I do that um, I may need to uh, lower the light levels a little bit it's a white figure with uh, silver highlights so let me uh, see what we can do here to get this to look a little bit better that's not too bad I think we can still deal with that uh, so where are we going to start here uh, let's start with I guess these little sonic blasty things here so these just snap on her wrists and i guess you are supposed to technically probably pop her hands off first because her hand won't fit through there 
So let's uh, let's do that. Pop the hand off. Stick it through that little hole there. And then peg that back in. Well, <laughs> somehow peg that back in. There we go. Like that. And then you got that cool little uh, blasty effect thing here. Kind of spell effect. If you're used to some of the Marvel Legends figures, they do something very similar to that. But uh, you get a set of two of those. Very nice looking. Get you an up close example here. A nice kind of pinkish purple translucent color there. Very nice looking. Little bubbles and everything going all over the place. So that's pretty cool. So you get two of those. And as we mentioned, these hands just uh, pop off. They're on this little peg system here, which is very cool. Peg in and out. So, uh, well, we'll leave that hand in place. And let's just look at some of these alternate hands here. We have a set of closed fists both right and left hand. Very cool looking. We get a set of open hands, a right and a left. And I guess technically that's kind of the Spider-Man hand, I guess. But very cool looking nonetheless. And then the uh, third set of alternate hands are these bladed fist hands. They look very cool. They got that same translucent purplish pink spell effect going on. And then the open hand there. And if the uh, camera will stay focused for just a moment, there's the other hand. So those are very cool looking. Very nice indeed. And just because I like those, let's pop that one in here. Again, that same peg system works really well. These things pop in and out very easily. So there is the, uh, that hand there with the, the peg on it. So very cool. That is really awesome. We'll go back to the uh, original hand, which was, which one? This one. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, I guess before we go, well, let's look at these here. Uh, so we do have a set of three alternate faces. And these things just have this little uh, peg hole on the back of them. And we'll show you the actual peg on the, uh, the, the head sculpt here in just a moment here. But uh, so this one is, I guess, a normal face. Actually, no. Uh, so this is the one thing that's um, sort of hard to tell, especially with the, the plastic here. But uh, so this is technically the angry face. Uh, her brows are furrowed a little bit more. And this is the, uh, the smirky face, I guess. <laughs> and then we've got the winky face. <laughs> so... Uh, very cool looking regardless. All of that is really awesome here. They did a really great job with the eyes. They look really nice on all of these. The eyebrows or the uh, eyelashes, sorry. Very cool. So uh, three of those faces to get whatever expression you want out of. Very cool. And that just leaves us with the actual figure itself here. Uh, so this is in the same scale as Bucky from a, the previous videos. You can check that out in our past videos here. Um, articulation one, actually, let's look at the detail first. So, uh, really awesome looking detail. And I may see if I can dial this light down a little bit to get a little bit better detail to pop out here. That white color and silver is kind of hard to get details to show very well. So, uh. Uh, so she's got the open mouth there. You can see her fangs there. Again, really great eyes. A cool jewel on her forehead. A little bit of paint weirdness right there, but just a ding there. 
Very cool looking hair sculpt. Big hair. <laughs> uh, really cool looking bodysuit here. And these silver highlights all the way around with the cool purple gems and everything. Very nice looking. It goes down. Cool looking boots. Just enough detail to make them interesting. And her cool tail there that uh, moves around as well. So that's very nice. Uh, and you can see here there's um, some subtle shading on the hair. So there's that nice bluish purple color coming out right there. And just a tad bit of pink showing as well. Uh, a little bit of paint weirdness going on in a couple of spots, but nothing major. So all in all, it looks really nice. I'm really happy with this figure so far. Articulation-wise, the head spins 360 degrees, but the hair is going to get in the way. So you really just have about that far before you start hitting things. And about that far, her shoulder pauldrons are kind of getting in the way. But uh, full... Well, there's down all the way, up all the way, but you get plenty of head tilt and everything like that. So very nice there. Uh, we've got standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. Up all the way, down all the way. Uh, standard ball and swivel here at the elbow joints. Very cool. And standard swivel at the wrist. I can get it to catch and swivel. <laughs> uh, as far as the chest goes, get this out here. She has the standard uh, waist articulation or uh, mid chest articulation, rib cage, whatever. It's that uh, really interesting ball joint, so it kind of goes all the way around. But uh, you get some ab crunch, not a lot, but you can tilt her side to side there pretty easily. Uh, no twist or anything there, just, uh, well, there's the twist at that mid rib cage feature there. So, uh, the legs themselves are on that, uh, plastic T hook looking ball joint there. So, all the way out, full front. I guess she is kind of limited in front motion and then back motion. Side to side is really good. Um, there's no articulation on the uh, mid thigh. She does have a single knee joint, but we do also have that swivel joint there as well. That is very nice. And then the standard, uh, well, I guess it's a ball and swivel or whatever you want to call that for the, uh, the leg joint there or the ankle joint. Uh, I'll note that this one is going to be a little bit loose after you move it. So you may just want to be careful of that. I guess that silver paint kind of rubs off a little bit. And you may have it end up being a little bit looser than you would like. But it's still pretty good for what it is. Same thing on this one. Uh, after you move it a couple of times, some of that silver paint may peel off. And it may be a little looser than... When it was originally there, she does have the peg joint at the bottom for her foot uh, figure stands and things like that. So very cool looking. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice looking figure here. Um, as far as the way this head face sculpt thing goes, you just basically grab the face and pull really hard and it pops off and you can see that peg joint there at the bottom and on the back you've got that peg hole and you just kind of line that up and press in on it really good and it snaps in place so it's a very interesting way of doing the uh, alternate heads especially when you have things like this uh, really cool hair um, I guess an articulation point I missed was the tail just like on Bucky the tail moves all the way around it is a uh, it's really just a single swivel joint. So it's not... Actually, it does. It goes up and down as well. So that's actually really cool. So up and down and all the way around. So kind of whatever direction you want it to go in, that's going to be fairly easy. So yes. 
Um, this is a really awesome figure here. It uh, fits in really wonderfully with the, the rest of the Bucky O'Hare line. And again, it's great to finally get this character in action figure form, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, there is a, another alternative version of her out, which is the Astral Projection. I haven't got that one yet, but uh, once I do, I'll do a video for that one too. But yeah, as a standard kind of basic figure, this is really awesome and really amazing. The only bad things I really have to say about it is, uh, I guess technically, some of the faces are kind of hard to tell apart. Um, those two specifically with the, the angry brow version versus the not angry brow version. Um, and just the paint on her ankles causing them to be a little loose. That's really the only complaints I got whatsoever about this. It's a really awesome figure, and if you're a Bucky O'Hare fan, you probably are going to want to pick this thing up if you haven't already. It is out now. You can check out uh, Boss Fight Studios storefront. They also sell these, I think, through um, Big Bad Toy Store and places like that, but a very cool figure, and uh, I'm really, really happy with this thing, so yeah, cool figure. Now that's all the time we have for today, so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you're digging what you're seeing. A thumbs down if you're not. Whatever. Uh, drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of First Mate Jenny and her first action figure form. If there's anything you'd like to see in future episodes, drop that down in the comment section as well. And I'll do what I can to get it out in front of y'all. Until next time.